Welcome back. Um, we're going to spend uh, the next uh, 10 minutes or so. This will be the last 10 minutes for today. Um, and again, I want to thank everybody for being patient. I, hopefully, um, this is not too boring and you're learning um, you know, new things. Um, so we spend most of our time today, 99% uh, of our time, dealing with the point of sale. And this is good because you know, um, your employees and you need to know how to ring up transactions. But once the transaction starts flowing in, we want to be able to see that. So um, if I uh, am at home, it's uh, noon, the store opened at 10, and I want to go ahead and see how the day is going, I will simply go to liveps.com and I will log in. So I can log in through any internet-enabled computer. So it can be a MacBook, it can be a Windows computer, it can be an iPad, it can be any, it can be a BlackBerry, iPhone, you get the point. Anything that's connected to the internet can access this. This is a website. And then every single one of you got a username, and password and security code that um, was sent to you via email the day that you signed up. Now, if you don't have it, don't freak out. Just click on the forgot password here, put your email in and it will send it to you. And then you'll get these and you'll be able to log in. So um, this is the dashboard. This is the focal point of, of the live POS solution. While um, you know the uh, selling part is you know a lot of fun, the power of the system lies here, where we actually ring transactions and uh, then we can actually drill down to see you know how they're doing, uh, how they're running. We run reports, we update prices, we add products, we do a lot of cool stuff, and you can do all of that from your laptop at home so you know if you want to take more vacations this is the great tool to do so um, so a quick overview i can see you know my name here and the speedometer is the grand total sales for the day um, this is the um the breakdown the donut breakdown of the top 10 locations over here on the left is the top 10 sold items and then employee of the week so um we, um, if you look before, we had some data here, um, but right now it disappeared because today is Sunday. It actually switched. It is now, um, and we did that demo specifically um, during this time. So now it's uh, uh, 21 minutes after midnight. We want to show you how the day resets. So um, if you look at the uh, video before, there was a, a, a chart here. Now it's empty because this is weekly. So on Sunday, and coming into Monday, we reset everything. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at the sales for the day. So there are multiple ways of finding the sales for the day. The easiest would be to basically click this icon. Very, very simple. And then what it would do is it will give me a breakdown of today's sales per location. And you can see the breakdown here. This is the store that we're using, my store, for today. And I'm going to click it. And I'll be able to see that so far we had four transactions. And this is the total. I see that there are no deposits for today. Because um, if you remember, we took a work order and then we took full payment. So if we left it as half payment, remember we did a 50% uh, deposit. If we left it at 50%, then it will show here that 50 bucks we rang up will be showing up right here. And so um, this is a detailed sales report. We can see you know, how we're doing for the day, grand total, breakdown, cash, credit, visa, total amount. Very, very easy to use. And most of you are gonna be using this report more than, than anything else. So this is, you know, this is an FYI. Um, and if you have more questions about this, you can definitely, um, you know, um, Look it up. Uh, we have a lot of uh, tutorials on support.liveps.com. Wait for it. Oopsie, not Google. Support.liveps.com. And you can look it up. So for example, there's a LivePS dashboard quick user guide. Oh, so very simple. And how to log in, uh, you know, the sales report, the employee report. So you can go through this uh, if you need more training. And you can always, you know, email us and call us for more. But we'll talk about that in a minute. So this is the, uh, the dashboard. Now, the next thing I want to show you is how to add an employee. So we'll go to the icon of the people. And we'll go to employees and add edit employee. Again, simple English. Add new employee. Very simple. 
Uh, wherever there's a little red thingy, we need to put some data. So third party employee, who the hell knows what this thing is? We don't touch it. First name, me. Last name, Mimi. And username, you guessed it, Mimi. And password. And let's see. And it asked me, do you want to assign a salary for this employee? And I said, no, because we can do that later on. And what I'm going to do right now is at the store, I'm going to click the sync button. And it's going to force the point of sale to go and figure out I just added a new employee. Now, I don't have to do it. I can just wait patiently until somebody makes a sale or updates inventory or clocks in or click receipts. Anything they do on the POS will force the POS to go and see if there's a new update. Um, and so um, only click this if you really want the uh, changes to take effect right now. So let me show you. I can clock in using our new newly created employee here it is and here's Mimi very simple um, again this this POS can be you know the other side of the world it doesn't matter everything is it's harnessing the power of the cloud and the internet in order to do that so adding an employee you know very very simple um, another thing that's very simple to do um, is adding a product so uh, you know if you had to choose between all of these icons which one would you think close to a product and that's probably the tag price then manage products makes sense and then add edit products again makes a lot of sense and then add new product now some people ask me when we do these seminars um what if i have a thousand what if i have fifty thousand obviously you're not going to have you sit here and do this manually um we have an excel sheet that you can uh download and put your um information there we will upload it for you and you know if you don't know where to go you can just go to the support side and then do inventory Excel spreadsheet. See, so there, there's a lot of ways of getting answers. Uh, you can, you know, self teach your, you know, uh, teach yourself uh, uh, and uh, um, take the uh, self taught um, process. You can call support and say, hey, I need to upload inventory. Um, I just need that for now. Thank you very much. Or you can call and say, guys, I did the webinar. It was great, but you know, I need one on one training. And remember, this costs you nothing. We we welcome it. We want you to call us and say, hey, I want one-on-one. -on -one. Um, especially after you watch this webinar, it will be more effective. So um, you can always call us and say, you know, I want to schedule training. And you can do training as many times as you want. So um, back to the ad product page. If you have a SKU, uh, you, can edit it, you can enter it here. If you do not, the system will automatically add it for you. So very simple and then you know just follow the prompt here you know product name product description style number if you have it category if you have it and then the one thing i wanted to show you on this page is what we call um let's put the item cost as five just for fun and then uh pricing type so do we have fixed price and non-fixed so um, I always give this example, a uh, fixed price would be Walmart. So in Walmart, when you, you know, come to the cash register, you don't negotiate with the cashier. You know, she, she won't give you a discount if you just smile nicely to her. That's not going to happen. So if this is your business type, if you just sell whatever is on the sticker, you would go with fixed pricing. But if, um, if you want to give your employees some haggling room, um, you will choose the non-fixed pricing. So let's say there's a product that you want them to sell for $400, but you absolutely do not want them to sell it under $300. So you will put the default price or the MSRP price at $400 and the minimum at $300. And what's going to happen is when they sell it, they can ring it up for $400, they can ring it up for $350, they can ring it up all the way to $300, but if they try to go to $299, the system won't allow them. So that's a pretty cool feature that we have here. And then on the bottom here, um, you have to put some quantity in the main warehouse. And if you want to choose more locations to move that product into right now, like initial, we can do that as well. So, um, you know, going back to the uh, um, to the dashboard, there are a lot of reports here that, you know, you can take, um, you can use, for example, the product sold report. Um, by definition, it says product sold. What did I sell? I will go... And again, I'm just clicking. It's really not complicated. I'm going to choose from and to dates. 
all my vendors, all my categories, all my locations, all my attributes. See, I can choose attributes, uh, all of them. And then I will group it by category, right? I can group it by vendor. I can group it by nothing. Um, there's a new version out. I can group it by a parent category. So it will, you know, it will give me totals of subcategories. So all of this information, you know, is available to you. Once you start ringing up transactions, this information is available to you. So you should run this report and see, you know, how your business is doing. So here, for example, you see the category and the product, the name, the units that are sold, the average price, you know, the total price, the margin, the live inventory currently in the system. This stuff will take you weeks to calculate by, you know, manually. So all of these things um, are there for you. And the dashboard, the admin dashboard has a lot of features, a lot, depending on your package between the $79 all the way to the 149, you have a lot of feature here. And there's just, uh, we're not going to cover them today simply because, you know, um, today's uh, uh, training is already, um, you know, kind of spilling out for uh, a little bit uh, longer than expected. But we will do another webinar, maybe we'll record it so you guys can watch it um, in your own time. We'll go through more of the admin side. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff here. But uh, this is what I tell people. Don't freak out. Don't think that because it's here, you have to touch it and you have to click it. If you are comfortable right now looking at a detailed sales report, because that is the only thing that you care about right now, while you are getting your business up and running, while you're installing the, you know, the 100th uh, uh, um, store, that's fine. I mean, the information is going to be there. You can run those reports, you know, backwards, a month, a year, two years, you know, wh wh whatever you want. You can go back to 2013 and take a look at what you, you, you know, what you collected. So there's really no rush. The most important thing for you is to make sure that you are ringing up the transactions. You can later on, once it's running and they're ringing them up correctly, you can take your time and come back after a week, a month, six months and say, hey, I'm ready to learn how to run p &L. I'm ready to learn how to do um, employee analysis report. I'm ready to do um, you know, commission for my employees. I, I just teach me. But, you know, Trying to do it on the first day, it's just not going to happen. So um, with that, I'm going to thank everybody for uh, joining our uh, webinar. Again, if you're watching a recording, please email us at uh, support at liveps.com or uh, direct it to your salesperson and they will give you some more information. Um, if you want one-on-one -on -one training, you can do that by emailing support as well or your representative and we'll set it up for you. If this is a live uh, um, uh, webinar, then um, in about... One minute, um, um, somebody's going to come online and answer your questions. You can type your questions in and they will be answered um, um, in the same form. And just, you know, give us about, you know, two or three minutes to read your, um, your questions. They will read it out loud and we will answer them one by one. Um, and with that, I thank you for your time and I appreciate the patience. Hopefully uh, you learned something new today and uh, welcome to Live PS. Thanks again.